Welcome back, everybody. It's time for more Mega Man 7. This is 480 Volts. Let's go. To the very end, I love that jingle. Uh, this music here, meh, 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 meh. That's all right. All right. So I knew there was a W can for me. I don't even care about. Okay, there was an extra life. Whatever. I don't need any more. I've got enough. I think I got enough W cans. Yeah, I got four. I got four of everything. Sweet. Oh, looks like my beat things do not refill. Okay, I wasn't sure if they did or not. That's no big deal. I don't really need them that much. So step into this teleporter. All right, it is time for the eight robot masters all over again. Let's see who we got first. Ah, Freeze Man. I need to. I need to switch. I need to switch. I need to switch. I need to switch to Junk Shield. All right, here we go. Junk Shield. Remember to watch out for that ice wave, and I did not watch out for it. I'm stuck to the ground. I can still... Oh, there we go. I can still... Oh, boy. I can still fire when I'm... When I'm stuck, but... There we go. Ah. He didn't get me that time. Alright. Alright. And then it's sealed up. Uh, who's this? Oh, this is, um... Uh, Turtle Man, ain't it? No, that's, uh... Slash Man. Which I will go ahead and use... I will go ahead and use the Scorch Wheel on him just to see how well it does. Okay, I don't like it that much because yeah, it takes a second to sort of charge it up. Not really charge it up. Uh, but I guess it's okay. I'll, I'm also thinking maybe the Freeze Cracker does better damage and then I just got hit, so that's awesome. Oh, wow. Thank you. Um... You know what? <laughs> Better make a separate save state, just, just cause. Ah! I'm stuck! There we go. Eh, eh. Ah! Oh wow, he, he's about to kill me. Um, do I want to use an E-Tank? I probably should. You know what? Let's save again. If I if he kills me, well, he kills me. I'd like to not have to use an E-Tank. Oh, wow. Wow, that, this guy's tough. Oh, no! That's no good. Let's try it again. Ah! Uh. Alright, you know what? Screw all this. We're using the freeze cracker. It's just easier to work with. Ah! There we go. He only needs one more hit anyway. But then so do I, so... Ah! I can't... Oh, I was afraid of that. He can't hit me at all. Ah! Oh, hate that. No! I was so close to beating him. Ah! Oh, can't dodge that. What do I do? What do I do? I don't want to use the E-Tank. My gosh. Ah! 
No! Got him! Sweet. No, if I, uh, we, we can do this. We can do this. Got him. That was... That was annoying, but I did it. <laughs> I hate that guy. That guy's tough. Uh, I really shouldn't have been goofing around with the Scorch Wheel. It's just easier to use the Freeze Wheel. Or the Freeze Cracker. Ah, oh, Junk Man. Finally. Easy boss. Oh, uh, what's this thing? Uh, Thunderbolt. Yeah, that's it. Thunderbolt. Got him. Oh boy, he hit me. Because I couldn't move. Sweetness. Yeah. See, I, I want to save my E tanks because I know I will need them. Uh, I'm gonna go with the freeze. Uh, I don't. Whatever. I'll just pick one and stick with it. Oh, this Cloud Man. Which one am I on? I don't know which one I'm on. I need to be on the uh, first level. And burst, 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 burst. Or Danger Wrap. Yeah, that's it. Oh boy, that's bad. Got him. He's mine now. Yeah. I like that sound he makes when he hits. When he hits the ground, that boom, boom. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. Got nothing to say right now except I was too slow. I'm not paying attention. I'm not focused. I need to be focused. I need to get with the program. That's more like it. Boom, boom. There we go. Aha. Alright, my health is building back up. That's good. Alright, who's next? Turbo Man! And let's go ahead and get ourselves ready. Yeah. Like I said, wait for the broom sound. Or the, or the backfire sound, really. And just make, make sure you hit me. Ow, he got me. I was about to say, make sure you hit the wall before you uh, shoot at the wall and bounce it back on yourself before you shoot Turbo Man. That'll just make things easier. Uh, first man? No, Spring Man! That's fine. I can kill him easily. And... Hey, hey. Go. Aha. Aha. This is so like rinse and repeat right here. But golly, I hate Slash Man. Got nothing to say right now. This is all pretty boring. There we go. Killed him. And I'm going to say Shade Man. I was right because I can see the little bat in the bricks and all that. Shade Man. I like that he bows right I like that he bows to you. He's, he's cool. Alright. Let's do it. And remember to slide. Ah! Wasn't fast enough. You got to slide to dodge that attack. Like so. Oh wow, that was, that was cool right there. Got him. 
<laughs> yeah, he will drain your HP and feed it to himself, so got to watch out for that. And by process of elimination, I deduce that first man is next. First one we started with, huh? Now I got his weakness. So take that. Yeah! Ah, I gotta wait for these stupid bubbles. Aha! Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Yeah, oh my gosh. Okay, so the charged Mega Buster Shot could go through those three bubbles that he shoots at you at once. Uh, those three bubbles right there. The freeze Cracker will not, so I've got to jump over them. And I'm screwing up right now. He's not killing me. I'm not going to let him. If I get caught in the... In the, in the bomb bubbles, I will have to, I will have to, um, switch to Mega Buster so I can break free of that, because I don't know if the Freeze Cracker will let me break out of the bubbles. You should only need one more hit. Of course he would do that. Whatever. Killed him. Yeah, it's sufficient health, I suppose. Oh, they're gonna let me... Well, first off, let's refill. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to... Uh, what do I want to refill? I want to refill the Wild Coil. And I hope I can make that jump. Because I'd like the health. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Alright, let's, uh, I believe normal Mega Buster mode is ideal here. So! This takes a while. Wait for it. It's a big old skull with feet. With spikes on its chin. Note that. Boy, he takes forever to come out. There he is, there's Dr. Wily. Shoot him in the face. Okay, slide under him when he does that. Um, now sometimes, stay in the middle because you don't know which side he's going to come out. Alright, now when he shoots those little skull platforms, those, those little miniature skulls, you cannot kill them. I have tried so hard, you can't kill them. Looks like you can, you can hit them, but... Oh, either that or they have a lot of freaking HP. Now, he kills them himself, so it's not too hard. This phase, it, it can last pretty long. Just be ready to slide under him when he does that. But sometimes he will not drop the skull platforms in, or the little skulls and he'll just... Okay. Sometimes he'll just parade across the floor. Oh, boy. That was, that was awesome. Oh, boy. That was bad. That's my own fault. Okay, we're, we're doing all right. Oh, that was skill right there. I had to do it. I probably missed out on like one shot from him, but that's all right. Yeah, see here, he's not even gonna... He's just gonna... He, he only needs a few hits to kill anyway. All right. Oh man, he only needs one more hit. Got him! I killed him! You note that I just switched to Wild Coil. Third best final boss music ever! I don't care what anybody says. I love pissing off the Final Fantasy VII format fanboys. Everybody says this boss is the hardest. I don't see it. Well, he, he might be the hardest, but he's not as hard as it could be. Um, Wild Coil is the weakness. Oh gosh, I got burned. Uh, I need a, I need an E-Tank. Because getting burned is annoying. Yes, he has three attacks. Um, need to turn it down slightly. 
He's got three attacks. Uh, or he shoots four energy balls. They'll be. They might be fire. Oh, that's the danger rat. That's bad. I need the wild coil. Crap. They might be fire. They might be ice. They might be just lightning. Lightning will not hurt you. Um, or lightning will just it'll hurt you once. Freeze. It'll make you frozen. And then of course fire. It does that burning thing. Oh wow. And I'm getting hit. And when you score a hit on him, he'll shoot fire. He'll uh, he'll he'll put a shock wave on the floor. So you have to watch out for that. Oh gosh. As for how you're supposed to dodge the attacks, because they're very, very hard to dodge, practice is all I can tell you. I used to be able to do it pretty good. I'm having trouble doing it today. Yeah. But if, if you got to get hit by something, hope you're going to get hit by lightning. Because that's... Oh, uh, just... Yeah, like there, fire, that's, that's, that's hard. That's bad right there. And if your wild coil gets too low, use the S, S tank. Or the... Or whatever. I'm failing right now. I want to make this boss look easy, and I'm making it look hard. There we go. That was pretty awesome. And I... Still too late. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Remember to charge your wild coils up and hit the up button when you shoot them. Or hold down the up button, rather. I think I got the pattern down. I still... You know what? Let's go ahead and use that S-Tank. No, just go ahead and do it. Because I'm getting low on wild coil and I'm getting low on health. There we go. We're good now. I got this guy in the bag. Boy, I love this music. Ah, I saw that one coming. Um, I love this boss music for the same reason that I love the final phase of Dancing Mad. It sounds like an out-of-control maniac. And that was my own fault. He only needs one more hit. God! Oh, no, he does not need one more hit. I screwed up. Now he needs one more hit, I think. Got him! Ha ha ha! You suck, Dr. Wily! I win. Yeah. Grovel like the little pathetic weasel you are. Okay, I give up. Sorry about all the trouble I caused. I'll go quietly. Yeah, you think I'm going to believe you again? Again? I don't trust you, Wily. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna do what I should have done years ago. Nice translation error. But he's charging his Buster up. Yes, yeah, shoot him in the head. Do it, Mega Man. Kill him. You forget, Mega Man. Robots cannot harm humans. Oh, that's right. Crap. Dang it! I forgot. I'm a robot. I am more than a robot. Die, Wily. What the heck kind of line is that? Oh my gosh. I'll talk about that line later, but the castle's exploding. Not again! Uh, uh -huh. Alright, you can still do this, Mega Man. You can still you can still kill him. Eh, 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 that's funny. You can still shoot his head off. Do it, Mega Man. Do it! Don't hesitate. Do it! Do it! Do it! Dang you, treble! And base. Too late, Mega Man. He who hesitates is lost. We shall return. Curse you, base and treble. I had him right there in my hands. And now the whole thing is exploding and... Ah! And the castle's exploding. Look at Mega Man! Look at him go! Look at him go! Look at him go! And it exploded in the flames and he didn't even look. That is like, that is the baddest walk from a robot I've ever seen. That's the most wicked Mega Man's ever looked. He's like, yeah, what? 
What up, fool? What do you want? Yo! And I would like to point out the little translational error there. Not the obvious one, I gonna do what I should have done years ago. I'm gonna talk about, in the original Japanese version, apparently, Dr. Wily tells him, you forget, Mega Man, robots can't kill humans. And Mega Man either says nothing, or three dots pop up above his head. Either way, it's like he realizes and remembers, oh yeah, that's right, I'm a robot. I can't hurt you. It's not in my program. Dang it. In this version, we stupid Americans, because we like to mess things up, thought it would be funny to have him say, I am more than just a robot, die wily. No, I love Mega Man to death, but no, he's a robot, plain and simple, and he can't kill humans. It's not in his programming. Ah! Also, I love this credits music, just saying. Alright, now, now let, let me calm down, let me find my happy place. And let's, uh, as there's a burning building behind me, and edgy music going on in front of me, let me find my happy place, and talk about my review of this game, or my thoughts on this game. Uh, the graphics, well, I mean, I, I just love 16-bit Super Nintendo graphics, so yeah, I, I mean, I love it. The story, I actually kinda like, I mean, a little bit more story than last time, that's kinda cool, but it's still a Mega Man platformer, and story doesn't really matter. The music's awesome, it just feels like real Mega Man music. And although there's a lot of flashy stuff like the mid-stage and the intro stage and all the shop and all that, at the core, it's still just a Mega Man game. And it's still just as... it feels like a, a normal Mega Man game to me. And, um... You know, a lot of people prefer Mega Man to be an 8-bit. They, they figure Mega Man needs to stay an 8-bit. I like that the, they went to 16-bit and then eventually 32-bit with the Mega Man 8. But... I guess they've decided that Mega Man should only be in 8-bit now. Although no more Mega Man Classic games were released on the Mega Man on the Super Nintendo. Uh, the first three Mega Man X games were released on the Super Nintendo, which I, I started playing Mega Man X for the first time. I actually kind of like it. I may have to get into the series. I should get into the series. I doubt I'll well, let's play them, at least not anytime soon. Okay, music's good. Uh, Robot, Robot Master Design's pretty cool. That's, I got nothing against that. Um... Uh, the game. I love the collectibles. Uh, that's that's the selling point of this game for me. I think uh, just being able to you know being able to fill up your map screen and look at all the stuff that you've got. I, I kind of like games like that, especially platforms like that where you just you collect stuff. Mega Man Six kind of was trying to do that, but not very well. This game does it much better. And then the Super Adapter, that's just really fun. And then if you don't want to collect all that stuff, you can just buy it at the shop. Provided you get enough bolts, but eh, bolts are dropped pretty frequently, so it's not a problem. I guess that's all I really have to say about the Oh yeah, bass and treble, I love those guys. And uh, they become regular staples in the classic series. Uh, they even get the game Mega Man Bass after Mega Man and 8, which I'm not going to play. So don't 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 let, don't get your hopes up. Um, Capcom did a good job, that's all I gotta say. Um I think that's all I really got to say about my review of this game. Um, I don't know why, it's just like one of my favorite games in the Mega Man series, and that's awesome. If, if you're a retro gamer, you need to add this to your Super Nintendo collection. Oh, one thing I will criticize it for, Wily Castle just a tad too easy with the fact that you can, uh, you know, you can to take breaks and refill your weapon energy and all that kind of stuff. Made it a little bit easy, but okay, whatever. Um, and I know there was something I was... Oh, yeah, I can't leave this Let's Play without uh, referencing the 8-bit freeware game that was created, Rockman 7 FC. Uh, some Japanese developers took it upon themselves to create and recreate Mega Man 7 all in 8-bit, and there's Base in Trouble. Um, the thing you gotta remember is that they did more than just turn it into 8-bit. They, they got rid of the intro stage, they got rid of the mid-stage, and they got rid of the shot. And right from the start from the game, there's there's eight robot masters right there. So they tried to make it feel like a normal Mega Man game. So there there you go. Uh, uh, it's as good. The only problem with it is, I mean, if you want to feel like you're playing an NES game, good. It, and they they do a saw. It's produ produced very. It's solid production. Only thing I criticize it for, uh, shooting star, is that the 
All subtitles are in Japanese, so if you're a stupid little American like me, you're not going to understand what they're saying. And there's Big Eddie's. And... Mega Man Returns Home. And it looks like we're going to get a family portrait, which is very conflicting with this music. And... Aha! Uh -huh, Rush was caught yawning. <laughs> so yeah! I think I'm stuck on this screen now, if I'm not mistaken. Can I... Can I... Oh, there we go. Thank you for playing. Capcom 1995. Am I stuck on this screen? Sure looks like it. Alright, so I'm going to turn it down a little bit. So, uh, that was Mega Man 7, ladies and gentlemen. My next Let's Play is going to be... Oh, oh, before... before let me just point out... I love that final boss, not only the music, but just the final boss itself. I know a lot of people hate it, they say it's the hardest final boss ever. I disagree. And that's probably the hardest classic Mega Man final boss, but it, it's doable. Eh. All I'll say is, uh, wasn't the last time that a franchise seventh title would have a final boss that everybody says was hard, but was actually very easy? I'm sure a lot of people know what I'm talking about. And when people do realize what I'm talking about, they're going to look at me like, What? But yeah. I'll even let's play that game. Okay. I'm yammering. Um, that was Mega Man 7. My le next let's play is going to be something else. And, um, yeah. Something else that I really, really enjoy. So, look forward to that. I will see you all in my next let's play. This is 480 Volts. Mega Man 7, you are an awesome game.